Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Virgo, this is from the 29th to the 5th of May, 29th of April to the 5th of May. And your overall energy, Virgo, the major influence around you this week is, wow, the chariot. Where are you off to? Where are you off to, Virgo? The chariot awaits you. Okay, so that means basically it means forward movement, uh, very focused on maybe some goal that you have. You will be making a lot of progress. And uh, what this is all about, I have no clue. So let's pick up one card for each day of the week, Monday to Sunday, and figure it out. Let's see what my Virgo gang can expect now. 29th to the 5th of May, Spirit. Monday to Sunday. Monday. Oh, judgment in your favor. Wonderful. Tuesday, the sun card, Virgo. This is the happiest card in the deck. This entire deck, there is no card which represents happiness more than the sun card. So Tuesday, it's going to be a happy day. Of course, I'm going to clarify all this. Don't worry. One by one, we'll clarify all these cards to dig a little deeper. But let's take out all the cards first. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the world. No, sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that's even better. One, two, three. Okay. Thursday, uh, we have the Eight of uh, Wands. So communication, forward movement again. Friday, Four of Swords, a day of rest. Saturday, back in your power at the Strength card and Knight of Cups. You're starting out on a brand new chapter of your life. You're feeling good, emotionally happy, maybe connecting with some new friends or something. I don't know. Sunday seems to be a very chilled out day for you. Okay, so let's start. Page of Cups again. Pages are representatives of new beginnings. So you have both the... Okay, one second. We have uh, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So it's happiness, the progression of happiness, I would call it from page to night. First, let's uh, take a affirmation card for you, Virgo. Let's see what you should be affirming to yourself to have this wonderful week ahead. Uh, my angel spirit guides, affirmation, affirmation for my Virgo guide. Okay, so <laughs> your affirmation, uh, Virgo, is I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free detachment. According to the spiritual law, you can have anything your heart desires. However, if your happiness, sense of security or feeling of power depends on someone or something in your life, then you're attached to that person or thing or it is a chain that keeps you bind, which binds you to a lower frequency and keeps you stuck. Your guidance is to ask your angels to help you cut the cords that tie you to people, things and emotions. When all attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. This enables you to reclaim your power and be genuine. Free your spirit and that of others. Let go now. So your affirmation is, I release. My spirit is free. All right. So, yes, you are free. You are moving on. I mean, don't carry any negative uh, emotions or toxic thoughts or people around with you in that chariot. The chariot is meant for one. Only an emperor or an empress gets to ride on that chariot. Remember that. And the chariot is only provided to you once you reach that status of really working hard to, you know, be deserving of getting that chariot from the universe well the chariot is yours this week um virgo all right so spirit let's start let's start with the uh, virgo's reading uh let's see for monday spirit what's the judgment card what's the judgment card Ju oh my god i don't believe this judgment is clarified by the judgment this is almost like birthing a new life Seven of Pentacles, fruitful events, planning, after a lot of delay maybe. So if you've been waiting for something, there, there are, I mean, maybe this is a time for you to plan because some fruitful events are about to happen. Judgment is going in your favor. That's a guarantee because judgment clarified by the judgment from two different decks. And there are just seven cards on the table. Okay. And this one says strength. 
You have the strength card twice. This is a gift from the universe, uh, Virgo, because you had the strength to follow your dreams. Okay, so, Spirit, what about uh, Tuesday? What's the sun card? This is a very, very happy day, it seems. What's happening for Virgo on Tuesday, Spirit? Knight of Wands. <laughs> six of Swords. Okay, Six of Swords is a card of leaving troubled waters behind and getting onto your little boat and saying, I'm moving on to a peaceful, happy place in my life. The, in most texts, you'll see that even here, this person is so chilled out, wearing a little red hat and probably humming a little song and saying, yeah, you know, the water behind me was very, very turbulent. I'm sailing on. I'm sailing along to a peaceful, happy place in my life now. And with excitement. King of Wands is like action taking. You are all fired up, geared up. You're looking forward to the future. A very, very, um, believe it or not, Virgo, Sun card also clarified by the sun card. I've got goosebumps now. Okay, so all right, spirit. What happens on Wednesday then? What's the wheel of fortune? Things are starting to move in Virgo's favor. Eight of Pentacles will be a day that you will be maybe heavy at work, maybe um, if you are in a job or business or you're planning something or you have to do some paperwork. I mean, this is like I can imagine a Virgo sitting on the desk with the computer open and doing a lot of back and forth communication or working or putting in some effort into making some major project uh, happen for yourself uh, and things are moving things are things have started to start moving already yep you could be planning travel maybe with a world card you or maybe you feel yeah, yes I am ending one chapter of my life finally and starting a brand new one someone some of you could be planning international travel as well with the world card right uh, I see this progression continuing on Thursday with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is again forward movement, there's a lot of emails going back and forth, maybe communication, this could be via the internet, could be face to face, but this is all, uh, this is a card of communication basically and forward movement. Look at all these wands going in a, in a positive forward direction and none of them are really clashing with each other. Okay, Spirit, Eight of Wands for Thursday. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, okay, one more, and the High Priestess. As much as you'll be maybe, yes, as much as you will be uh, maybe communicating with a lot of people, uh, Virgo, on Thursday, be mindful not to share too much information there could be some emotionally manipulative people around you as well try and be a little discerning about uh, how much communication you give to others because there are uh, there, there is a possibility that somebody who you you might be communicating with on Thursday could try and sabotage you or try and hold you back or not want you to have that victory that you're going towards so what spirit is saying yes uh, it will be a day which encourages a lot of communication but um, if possible be mindful of emotionally manipulative people if you are overly honest or overly you know say too much or something uh, just try and be a little mindful and keep some secrets in your heart use your intuition to know who you can express yourself to and how much and otherwise I do see um, Virgo uh, you are preparing for a brand new beginning I mean you're excited about a brand new chapter and uh, you could be spending a lot of time in your home and um, you know pro possibly preparing for this new beginning but also communicating maybe via telephone or internet or something but I don't see somewhere somewhere I feel it's more uh, online uh, what about uh, Friday spirit? Why the Four of Swords? Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay. Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. See, this is what I was afraid of. This is what I was afraid of. Whatever happens on Thursday, Virgo, uh, whatever communication happens on Thursday, you could get a message back which could 
kind of make you feel not very good. It could put you in your head, it could stress you out, this could be somebody from your past maybe, uh, but you will successfully uh, on Friday maybe take a little time out and contemplate or just come to terms with whatever's been done and said uh, by the end of the evening, yeah, you are walking away. I don't see my Virgo walking back or any time. Yes, it'll probably hurt you a little bit or upset you a little bit, but you will kind of close the door and say, you know what, I'm going to just retreat. So be mindful if you don't want to go through this. On Thursday, be mindful of who you are talking to and what is being said, maybe how much you're sharing. Uh, and if somebody does say something which doesn't make you feel as happy as they should because your, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is like fantastic. Maybe somebody is not happy that you're, you're happy or something. So just be a little mindful. You can avoid this. But if, you know, without your uh, instigation, somebody does message you or say something which is uh, counterproductive to you, uh, you, will, uh, you will successfully walk away. Uh, by Saturday, you've got your strength back. You realize that, you know, you did all this hard work. On Monday itself, I had the strength card. I mean, this is something, Virgo, you worked very, very hard for. And I don't think you're going to let go of it in a rush. Saturday, you're back in power and saying, you know what? I'm going to do exactly what I want to do. Okay, Spiritus, so tell me, strength card for Saturday. Uh, four of Swords. Whatever time you're taking out to, you know, to heal yourself or be by yourself is actually very, very good. Uh, it's better to kind of switch the internet off or put the phone off and take time for yourself. Uh, it'll help you kind of uh, reinforce what you've been working for and why instead of, uh, instead of allowing outside interference. Yes, you will. You, you, I don't have any. Yes, hey, Ace of Wands. By Saturday, you'll be saying, I don't care. I, I have a plan. I'm excited. I'm passionate. Ace of Wands is like a, moving towards a passionate brand new beginning. Okay. So, and yes, two of swords. You're going to, you're going to kind of block out people who are not on the same page as you. It's like Virgo saying, you know, I know what I want and I'm excited and I'm going for it. And anyone who's not on my, on my page, I'm blocking those people out. Okay, so Spirit, Sunday, Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? Five of Pentacles. Okay, so that's nice. That's nice. That's okay. Nine of Pentacles. You know, the same people, I think somebody who could have said something to you or some people who were not on the same page I have a feeling by Sunday the same very people are going to come back and try and get back into your good books they'll probably apologize to you and feel bad that you know whatever happened or whatever was said because they don't want to be left behind it may stress you out a little bit because you don't know why what the agenda is but you will be standing in your power nine of pentacles is a person who's worked very hard for what they have and they don't really care who says what because from the nine they're going straight to the ten of pentacles which is everlasting happiness wealth success and all that and others may be seeing you stand in your power uh, instead of getting more aggressive or more mean to you i think they're going to succumb they're going to succumb and try and appease you from what I feel. Look at this person coming forward and giving a bunch of roses and saying, oh, um, you know, don't leave us behind kind of a thing. Let's see. Give me more spirit. Seems like a very specific message for you. But all right, Virgo, you're standing in your power and people can see that now. You're going to be taking back control of your life. This is the emperor. Like, see, I started the reading by saying, Virgo, your, your chariot has arrived. Right? Who gets to ride the chariot? The emperor or the empress? And see what my last card is? The emperor has arrived to ride on this chariot. Uh, people can, or other circumstances can, even, even if they try to pull you back, you're too strong for that now. And don't worry, whatever happens, the same very people are going to be applauding you. They will be wanting you to, you know, be in your good books. They will be admiring you. So just be very mindful of what you want and focus on your future. Get onto that chariot and 
detach. No wonder the angels give the card, card of detachment as well. Don't take anything to heart this week. Okay, that's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste, Virgo. Have a wonderful, successful week ahead.